So we will only have to put in $147 million for a $2.7 billion project. And what that does is it moves us. We start building another big bridge. And we can't Mayor Austin, join us on the stage. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, before, <laughs> don't do that, Julie. Don't make me cry. Uh, I'm Missy Vanderpool with Henderson Economic Development. And before we get started today, we know it's hot, so there is water. If you haven't already got you water, please get water. We have medical here if you need that. And we do have the air conditioning on in the building if someone feels overheated. So please take care of yourself. And we'll try to keep it as short as possible but it's a fun day, so it might take a little while. So it's a great day in Henderson, Kentucky. Before we get started, I wanna take a moment to make sure we welcome our special guests we have with us today, and we wanna offer a warm Henderson welcome to our governor, Mr. Andy Bashir. <laughs> we have Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, We have some other special guests represented on the stage, but I'm going to let the governor talk about those folks. So also with us today, we have some of our elected officials. We have Representative Rodney Atkins here with us, which is a surprise for me. We have Representative Jonathan Dixon. Representative Suzanne Miles. Judge Executive Brad Schneider. Mayor Steve Austin. <laughs> Magistrates Keith Berry, Charlie McCollum, Tim Southern, Butch Putman, Beth Moran. We have our commissioners, city commissioners here with us today. We have Brad Staten, Austin Vows, Rodney Thomas, we also have our Henderson PVA, Mr. Andrew Powell, with us today. We have Gilbert Mitchell with Senator Mitch McConnell's office. And Corey Elder with Congressman Comer's office. And I'm now going to turn the mic over to our governor to, to give the announcement that we're all here to, to enjoy today. Thank you all. Good afternoon, everybody. It is so great to be here in Henderson for what I can certify is the largest single investment and economic development announcement in Western Kentucky in the last 25 years. We are here to talk about hundreds of great new jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars in new investment right here, continuing Kentucky's economic hot streak as we work to run, not crawl, out of this pandemic. Today's announcement shows that our economy is heating up even more. In fact, today's good news represents the single largest economic development investment since I took office as governor. And it's the third largest number of jobs for any project we have had during 2021. So let's get to it. Pratt Paper LLC, a division of Pratt Industries today, is announcing a $400 million investment in Henderson, Kentucky. And it gets even better than that. This investment is expected to create 321 great jobs for people of this region. And when I say great jobs, 
I mean it. They pay $39 an hour on average, including benefits. In a few moments, you're going to hear from a great man and somebody who's becoming a good friend, Pratt Industries Chairman Anthony Pratt. But I want to take a minute or two to highlight this innovative company, who they are, and exactly what they do. Because this is about to be an incredible corporate citizen building one of the most high-tech plants in the world, so much that you're going to be able to be so proud of. Pratt Industries is the North American sister company of Australia-based Visi, a maker and supplier of sustainable corrugated cardboard packaging and displays using 100% recycled paper. Based in Georgia, the company has grown over 30 years to become the fifth largest corrugated packaging company in the United States and the biggest privately held recycled paper and packaging company in the world. Pratt now has the... Yeah. Hey. I'll clap for Anthony. <laughs> Pratt now has facilities in more than 25 states, including Pratt Display, which opened in Hebron, here in Kentucky, in 2011. So Pratt is already invested in Kentucky. And as I've told Mr. Pratt, I'm really excited, but feel free to invest more. <laughs> so Pratt is doubling down on our great state with this massive, because it is massive, two-phase project to bring a state-of-the-art paper mill and manufacturing facility to Western Kentucky. For phase one, Pratt will invest $400 million to build a 450,000 square foot paper mill that will manufacture 100% recycled paper products. Construction on the mill is expected to begin in March of 2022 with a completion expected in the fall of 2023. There are going to be hundreds of additional construction jobs on top of that number of permanent jobs. But it gets even better. In phase two, Pratt plans to build a 700,000 square foot facility that will produce corrugated sheet and boxes. The total investment for that facility is still being worked out, but they hope to have it up and running. No, no, no. They expect to have it up and running, and we're going to make sure that happens by 2026. The paper mill will create 120 jobs. The corrugated facility will create the next 200 jobs. This announcement is exciting for so many reasons. The jobs alone and their pay and what they're going to bring to this area is critical. But it's just as important as what this kind of investment says about this community and this commonwealth. First off, Pratt is spending these dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, to build a state-of-the-art, I believe, the most technologically advanced in the world when it is completed, advanced manufacturing facility that will produce environmentally sustainable paper products. What this says to me is Pratt is in it for the long haul right here in Henderson. It tells me that these are the jobs of the future, not jobs of the past. And Pratt sees Kentucky's workforce and your region as a bet that is worth making. We've seen this happening more and more as we come out of this pandemic. Companies not overlooking us, not just looking to our big cities, but looking at all across Kentucky and our incredible workforce. It tells me, with what we have seen just in the last two weeks alone, that we will never be a flyover state ever again. The first six and a half months of this year have been pretty historic. Last year, we were ranked number one in our region in economic development. We were ranked number one of any state under five million people. That's because we created 4,000 new jobs and $2 billion in investment. As of today, we've already reached $2.6 billion in announced investment, and we've already reached about 5,500 new jobs in Kentucky, and we're not even through July. I believe that our ceiling is higher than it has ever been in my lifetime, and our potential is greater than we ever thought possible. I believe some of those barriers that we had in the past are no longer in front of us, and everything we have always dreamed Kentucky can be is right within our reach. And the way we get there is the way all these teams have worked together, to realize that 
There's nothing red or blue about a good job. It's just really good for a family. To make sure that we're working together to push the priorities of our working Kentuckians ahead and to never let differences get in the way of an amazing advancement like we are seeing here today. Folks, this is one of the most special days we've had in Western Kentucky in 25 years. And I don't know about you, but I want to have a few more of them. And to do so, we are going to continue to advance, uh, to, to invest. I want to thank the members of the General Assembly. You know, we read a whole lot about things that people disagree on, and, and there's been some of those. But what we don't talk enough about is how at the end of the last session, we came together on agreement on $1.1 billion of American Rescue Plan Act money to put into our state infrastructure. Hundreds of millions of dollars for clean drinking water, hundreds of millions of dollars for broadband, $127 million to rebuild schools and $70 million to put in our vocational schools renovation. That took foresight. That took truly being willing to invest and work together, both across branches of government and across the House and the Senate. That type of bipartisanship, nonpartisanship, whatever you want to call it, was a great example. And I think it's going to help us have more projects like this as we move into the future. And I hope you've seen on the last couple of years that we have invested in Henderson. Whether it's the Delta River Authority or other opportunities and grants we've had in your trails, this is a special, amazing community. And we need you to thrive to make sure Kentucky is going to thrive. I believe we are living in our second historic moment in just the last several years. The first has been this pandemic. It's been hard but we have risen to the occasion. In this historic moment, we have looked out for one another and we have lived for one another. We've made sure nobody was left out because everybody counts. In this second historic moment, which I believe is us on the edge of unprecedented prosperity, I hope we do the same. I hope we make sure it reaches every single part of Kentucky, including those who have felt left out and left behind. And it's announcements like this that we make sure that we fulfill that promise. This project is incredible, absolutely incredible. And one reason that I think they decided to locate here is we judge, we, we're going to build that I-69 bridge. We're going to get it done. This is a special company. And what you are going to see when this thing is built is something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world because this company is constantly investing in new technology and in new opportunities. I believe when it opens, this plant will be the cleanest, greenest, most efficient, most productive this world has ever seen. And it's going to be right here in Henderson, Kentucky. Anthony Pratt, who you'll uh, hear from in a minute, is a phenomenal leader. He comes to us from Australia but he spends a lot of time in the United States. I got an opportunity to meet him through one of our good mutual friends, Lonnie Ali, because he is one of the original founders of the Ali Center in Louisville. I got uh, to, to, to meet uh, uh, some others that you will hear from in a minute, along with Mr. Pratt, on a day that I didn't look at my calendar and I was in my office in jeans with my dog. <laughs> but it turns out when he is a really good saleswoman, and it started a relationship in a different way that is special and that I believe is going to continue to grow. This is a good company filled with really good people. So I want to congratulate Anthony, Brian McFeely, Gary Bird, Ed Kersey, and the entire team at Vizzy and Pratt Paper on today's announcement. And congratulations, oh my goodness, your local officials have worked so hard on this. This was everybody taking this very personally. Uh, sure, there were a couple speed bumps, but we were all committed to making sure that we got over each and every one of them. So Judge Executive uh, Brad Schneider, thank you for your work. Mayor Steve Austin, thank you for your work. 
to the entire local and area economic development. Oh my goodness, today's a pretty good day for you. Yeah, one of my favorite verses of the Bible says, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. This is one of those days where we are building each other up. And I'm telling you, if we continue like this, the sky is the limit. This is an incredible day. This is one where I hope you take a mental picture of being here on the biggest investment in this region in 25 years. And I know as a community, we will come together to welcome Pratt Paper, Pratt Industries, and we will do such a good job, they'll want to invest even more. Thank you all very much. <laughs> now here in Kentucky, we believe in hospitality. So before I step down, I want to make sure I present a few gifts that has a, a little of our consumable Kentucky hospitality. First, we got Gary Bird. Gary came to my office that day, and, and, and um, again, it was the start of a number of great meetings. We would not be here uh, without you. Uh, he negotiated a tough deal, a good deal, but we are still here, and we are proud to be your partner. Next, we have Brian McFeely. Next, we have Ed Kersey. What? And right before I step down, this was a big enough jobs announcement where you got both the governor and the lieutenant governor. Jacqueline Coleman is going to make sure we work together to create and to improve and to provide that world-class workforce that Pratt Industries and every other industry in this and every part of Kentucky deserve. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys can give him a round of applause. Thank you all so much. It is great to be back in Henderson. And the best news of the day is I was a basketball coach, so I can get my point across in a 30-second timeout. Okay? So here's what I want to tell you. Today is a celebration, and it's a celebration that took a lot of really hard work, but yet it's also marking the beginning of something really special. And we didn't get here by happenstance. We got here through uh, a collaboration of local and state government, of international partners, to build something that we haven't built in this part of the state in 25 years. And here's what I can say about that. You're going to hear a lot of numbers, and you're going to hear a lot of figures. But today is about you, it's about your kids, yeah. it's about your families, it's about this community. And you have a governor who understands that as good as anybody because he spent the last year and a half governing and treating every Kentucky family as if it was his own. And I can't think of a better compliment to give the leader of a state than someone who has laid the groundwork for us to be here today to be able to celebrate the economic growth that we're now experiencing in Kentucky and especially to get to come here and experience it with y'all. So I can promise you that as governor and lieutenant governor, you got a governor that is going to build an, econom an economy with jobs of the future and you got a lieutenant governor who came out of the classroom who understands how to build that workforce of the future. And we're going to continue to work hard here in Henderson and all across Kentucky to build a better Kentucky. And I'm so grateful that we got to start here today with this great announcement. Thank you guys so much. And now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Anthony Pratt, who's chairman of Pratt Industries. Thank you. Thank you, Governor and Lieutenant Governor. I'm honored here in Kentucky to announce Pratt Industries' latest $400 million investment in a 100% recycled paper mill. Our 71st factory in America, which will increase our workforce to over 10,000 in well-paying, green-collar, 
American manufacturing jobs, including an additional 321 full-time employees, plus 700 in construction as a result of this investment. This $400 million green manufacturing investment began in Governor Bashir's office in April 2021, and the speed in which he's moved and the enthusiasm and professionalism of the entire Kentucky team has encouraged and enabled us to make this $400 million manufacturing investment in green uh, infrastructure to create well-paying American green collar manufacturing jobs. Governor Bashir was so welcoming and enthusiastic about the opportunity. I'm proud to say that this is phase two of our commitment to Kentucky, coming on the back of our manufacturing factory in Hebron, Kentucky in 2010, which employs well over 200 Kentuckians in well-paying manufacturing jobs. And I'm honored to say that my personal relationship with the great Commonwealth of Kentucky goes back even further to 2005, when I was proud to be the founding patron of the Muhammad Ali Center in Louisville in support of the governor's great vision, we're committed to doubling down on this investment of $400 million until our cumulative investment in Kentucky is over half a billion dollars. In fact, phase three of our Kentucky commitment, which will be built after the 100% recycled paper mill, is a 700,000 square foot state-of-the-art corrugated box factory, which will be connected to the paper mill. And what gives me the confidence to say that we'll keep growing is our track record of being the fastest growing company in the paper and packaging industry as we've gone from number 46 biggest company to number five, having built six out of America's last eight paper mills. These 100% recycled paper mills have made us the only major paper company in America that's 100% recycled, which is important because recycling is an important weapon against climate change. Because as things decay in the landfill, they emit methane gas, which is 20 times worse for the environment and for CO2 emissions in causing the greenhouse effect. In fact, landfills emit more carbon than all of global aviation. So recycling is an important weapon against climate change. Another way of saying that is that our all-American 100% recycled paper mills have the equivalent, save the equivalent of six football fields of trees every hour. The Henderson Mill, which will be the most technologically advanced in the world, will produce more than 1,500 tonnes of recycled paper every day, saving the equivalent of over 25,000 trees or two football fields every 24 hours. And more than 100,000 tonnes of this waste paper will be from discarded paper from Kentucky homes and businesses. So every Kentuckian alone will be saving 5,000 trees. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anthony. And I have to say that it's been a pleasure to work with the entire Pratt team. Um, you'll, hear more, you'll hear me say more about the Pratt team, but they're, they're first class company and we're just so proud to have them here. Um, at this time, I'm gonna welcome our judge, Brad Schneider, up to the stage. Right. And, and I get to go up front for a minute, right? Thank you all for being here today. Isn't this a wonderful afternoon? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Thank you all for being here, and thank you, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, for joining us. It's a momentous day. Uh, on behalf of Henderson County Fiscal Court, who you met, uh, our County Attorney Steve Gold, and the rest of county government, we are so proud and excited to have played a role in helping bring this project to the finish line. It was a team effort. I think all of Henderson County and the city of Henderson residents should be proud yeah. of the way that we all work together to bring this home. We're also very appreciative of the team at the State Economic Development Cabinet. With us today are Commissioner Katie Smith, Brittany Cox, and Christina Slattery. Slattery. Where are they? Could they stand up, please? They work so hard for this community.
Yeah, we really appreciate all the work you did. I cannot uh, say a whole lot about this project without mentioning the team at the city, the city commission, but especially uh, city manager, Buzzy Newman. <laughs> there are several times in this whole process where Tom Williams, the head of HWU, looked at, we looked at each other and said, Buzzy Newman is a genius. He is a genius. And Mayor, you have a, a great man in Buzzy Newman. Do you want to say thank you to Tom Williams at Henderson Water Utility? And water is a very important uh, component of what Pratt does, and, and we are able to deliver thanks in large part to the team at HWU, and I appreciate their board being here today. Thank you. Would you all stand up? And where's Tom Williams? Come on, Tom. And Mayor, I apologize if I'm stealing all your thank yous, but our engineers, QK4, uh, Mike Vickers, who did a wonderful job helping relay the information about this site uh, to uh, Pratt was invaluable. And I also have to give a sincere thank you, a sincere thank you to the Pritchett family who made this all possible. This site, its size, the former uh, farm of that family is what really made this possible. Uh, I, I, from the rest of us in Henderson County, and hopefully I think the city uh, would feel the same, a sincere thank you. Really thank you very much. <laughs> of all the members of this team that I mentioned, nobody, nobody worked harder than the team at Henderson Economic Development. Nobody. <laughs> And while we're sweating here today, because we're on fire. There, is, there are no four people here today that spent more sweat, blood, and tears than Missy Vanderpool, Whitney Risley, Stephanie Lucas, and Kate McIndoe. And I would like each of them to come up to the stage, please. To commemorate this day and your hard work, we have some special gifts for you. In each of these bags is a necklace. Each of the necklaces are identical. They have the same chain, they have the same setting. And that's to commemorate the one team that you formed to help make this happen. But in each necklace, there's a different stone, a different colored stone to signify your distinct talents and the different roles that you played in doing such a wonderful job in this final effort. Uh, so, no matter where the future takes you, I think whenever you see these necklaces, whenever you wear them, remember the team and remember this day and how much you uh, help this community. Missy? This is for Whitney. What a round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we have strong women in Kentucky. Strong women. Now, the governor stole thunder a little bit talking about consumables. <laughs> but it is Kentucky after all, gentlemen. And in Kentucky, when we have great occasions, we give bourbon. And to start with, I'm going to like you to see something that of particular interest that we hope adorns the offices of this new facility forever and ever to make it distinctive from any other Pratt facility in the world. And we think you'll agree if you unveil those. 
The, uh, go around and look. Go around and look. They're not. <laughs> These barrels are from Peerless Distillery, which is in Louisville, but has deep history here in Henderson, gentlemen. We call it our hometown bourbon. And these are barrels with the Pratt logo on them. And again, put these in your boardroom out in front of your door so people will never forget that they're in Kentucky when they come to Pratt. And you know, in the spirit of recycling, these barrels have performed their great service to humanity by aging the best bourbon in the world. So they're empty, but our next gifts are not, if you wouldn't mind coming back and having a seat. As I said, Peerless is considered our hometown bourbon. Uh, and like Pratt, they are not the biggest name at what they do, only the best. And we have some gifts for you. These are custom bottles specially made for this day. And don't worry, Governor, if you want one, we can get you one and get everybody else one. All right. So, gentlemen, cheers. We're so glad you're here. This is a amendment this day for Pratt and for Henderson County. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Judge. And so the judge stole my speech, so it'll save some time later on. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Judge. And now we're going to hear from our mayor, Steve Austin. Thank you, and thank you to the folks that brought out the air conditioners that are uh, around the tent. That surely helps a little bit. I want to thank the 11 people that Judge didn't mention. Uh, that are here today. And thank you for whatever you did, and thank you for being here, because we really appreciate it. <laughs> I want to bring your attention to this little sign right up over here. Collaboration is our nature. We live by that. We think that we can get 10 times more done in collaboration with our partners than we can individually. And that has worked out very, very well. And our city team is unbelievable. And our water utility team is unbelievable. And our gas department team is unbelievable. And they put it all together and it wasn't easy. And I, I sit in on the water utility, every water utility meeting, not easy but good. And uh, so anyway, I'm not going to take a lot of time. I know uh, Missy's got some things to say. I just want to thank you again for being here. Thank all the participants in our collaboration that brought this about. Thank our friends from Pratt Industries uh, for making a good choice in Henderson, Kentucky. They did make a good choice. I can promise you that. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. So most of you know me, and I know wherever Bob McIndoe is, I can't see him, but he's waiting for the tears. And so I will apologize now. I gave Ed a warning that I would cry today. The rest of the team, I didn't get a chance to give you that warning, but, but I will cry. So we'll get that out of the way. As a lifelong Hendersonian, I could not be more proud than to welcome Pratt Industries to Henderson, Kentucky. Pratt Industries, in a short amount of time we've got to spend with Pratt Industries, we've learned a lot about their company. We've learned a lot about their business, and we've learned a lot about their culture. And I am so proud to welcome them. They care about our environment, they care about their people, and they care about their communities. <laughs> Henderson, we hit the jackpot. They will be great community partners for years to come. One night at dinner, Ed said, the plant will be here 100 years. And Tom Williams looked at me and said, think about that. And I said, I can't, because I will cry. Um, 
But, but think about that. They will be here for 100 years, and that's amazing. So besides the initial investment that Pratt Industry will make of $400 million in capital investment, the 321 full-time jobs, the over 700 construction jobs, Pratt Industries will have an economic impact on our community of over $120 million a year. And that means money's being invested in our local banks, it's being spent at our local restaurants, at our local shops that have suffered over the past 15 months. Those dollars will be spent in your places of business. And new homes will be built, and the list could go on and on about the, the impact this is going to have on our community. So again, I could not be more proud than to welcome Pratt Industries to Henderson. Days like today, they don't happen every day, and they don't happen overnight, and they don't happen without a team of people working together, all pulling in the same direction. So how do we get here? The mayor said it. We got here through collaboration. But there's a little extra secret ingredient that goes along with collaboration, and that's trust. There's been a team of people working together that trusted each other through all the obstacles that we all had the same common goal in the end, and we worked together and we overcame those obstacles. <laughs> Kentucky and Henderson, you should be so proud of the way your community and your state was represented during this project. I'll start, and this is where it'll probably uh, get a little emotional, and thank goodness Brad thanked everybody just in case I forget somebody. That's my biggest fear. Um, so. I'll start with the Cabinet for Economic Development Project Manager, Brittany Cox. Recently, um, and I've kept this from her, although we talk daily and she's really gonna miss Whitney and I, so we're gonna still have to have weekly calls at least. Um, recently in conversations with Pratt leadership, we learned that the confidence that Deloitte, the site selection agency, had not only the confidence in Team Kentucky and Team Henderson, but specifically the confidence that they had in Brittany Cox is the reason we have this project today. <laughs> From our initial first virtual site visit on April 5th that we had two days to prepare for. Thank you guys, we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Our team has worked tirelessly on this project. Our utility partners, Big Rivers and Kenergy, Henderson Municipal Gas, Henderson Water Utility, all stepped up to meet the needs of this project. Again, there were obstacles, but we all were able to provide solutions. And the project name for this was Mantra, and I think the mantra is solutions, because that's what we were able to provide, was solutions that got us to the finish line. Bob Berry, Leslie Crampy, and the entire Big Rivers and Kenergy team, thank you for all your hard work and your commitment to this project and our community. <laughs> the support we have received from Fiscal Court, Henderson City Commission, and the Henderson Water Utility has been unmatched. <laughs> To our predecessors, Donna Crooks and Tony Uritti, thank you for the foresight to prepare this site to where it is today. The CSX Select Site designation was an important part of the site selection process. And thank you to Mike Vickers for his, and the QK4 team for the commitment to that process. Brian Bishop and Jennifer Marks with the Henderson Planning Commission, thank you. Thank you for always going above and beyond, doing more than your job calls for. You, well, you are appreciated more than you know. <laughs> Dorsey Ridley. Does everybody here know that Dorsey was my first real job boss? <laughs> Dorsey Ridley, thank you for your help from the initial panic phone call <laughs> and all the days through. Thank you. Judge Snyder, we are so fortunate in Henderson to have a judge that understands firsthand economic development. He understands what it takes to make these projects happen, and he supports us and encourages us always along the way. He may have even talked us off the ledge a few times. <laughs> the 
from the very first phone call, literally the very first phone call, Buzzy Newman and Tom Williams have been by our side. We got the request for information. I was sitting next to Tom Williams. I asked if we could meet the water needs because it's large. And he said, yes. And he smiled real big and he said, this is the one. <laughs> I would like to say a lot more, but Buzzy and Tom, thank you. It doesn't seem adequate. But I know, without a doubt, we would not be standing here today without Buzzy Newman and Tom Williams. So Henderson Economic Development, we are a lean organization, as you saw a while ago. We have three full-time staff and a rock star intern. And so we are very dedicated, but with the lean staff, you have to have a dedicated board of directors. And we have the most outstanding, dedicated, supportive board of directors I've ever, I've ever known of. They don't just show up once a month for a meeting. They roll up their sleeves. They go to work. They were out here today working. They, answer, they run companies. And they answer the phone, Ben Johnston, whenever you call and say, I need help. And 10 minutes later, he was there. So thank you. I do have to make sure I want to mention all of our board of directors. So I want you guys to stand, please. Chairman Tony Crampy, Chair-elect Ben Johnston, directors Leslie Crampy, Dr. Jason Warren, Bob McIndoo, Brian Hawks, Greg Pritchett, Rob Joswick, Mayor Steve Austin, Judge Brad Schneider, and Ellen Reddy, and Tom Beckert. And, and next time I'm not following Brad because he does much better than me, but back to that small staff. Stephanie Lucas, thank you for your willingness to tackle any task we throw your way. Our intern, Kate McIndoo, I can honestly say we would not be standing here without her help because she just came in and took charge and she has worked the entire time on this project right along her side. So thank you, Kate. the tears will get really real. I'm gonna do good. I can't sit on my hands, and so that's a problem for me, but Whitney Risley is my partner in crime. Her dedication is unmatched, and she does it all, mother of two and pregnant. <laughs> um, one of my greatest blessings is getting to work alongside her every day. <laughs> to the Pritchett family, today, we celebrate your father's vision becoming a reality. Thank you. And earlier, I forgot to mention an elected official, jailer Amy Brady. And listen, she was out here yesterday sweating to make sure this place looked perfect for us. And so thank you, Amy, for that. As I said, it's a team effort, and there's so many more I could mention, but I know y'all are hot. And I'm what's standing between air conditioning. So I will end up with recently, my chairman, Tony Crampy, asked me what I learned through this process. And I answered with, it takes a team. There is not one person or one organization that can make something like this happen. It's a team of people all pulling together in the same direction, trusting each other, and refusing to be eliminated. I just happen to believe that we have the best team out there. Thank you to the community for your support, for joining us today, and thank you Pratt Industries for choosing Kentucky. Welcome to your new Kentucky home. I will welcome any of you if you would like to speak, if you would like to, they're good. Anthony said it all for them. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Please get a bottle of water, thank you. Lieutenant Governor, can I get you a bottle of bourbon with... You got it. Yeah, they took care of me. Yeah. We're going to make sure it's the best investment y'all ever made. Every investment, this is just a good place. Yeah. Yeah. Workforce is ready. That's hungry. Well, the, you know, Kentucky has been good to us. And, uh, you know, it's a great state. I just, I just drove up I-75. Yeah, yeah. I-75 uh, 
on Sunday. Or Saturday. Right. I, I got to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, home in Michigan. So, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, beautiful park. It is, it is yeah. a beautiful park. What are you up to next? Uh, we are back. Uh, I've got Did you hear what they said? Uh, I'm, I'm